Today, President Biden announcing he will not use his presidential powers to lessen the sentence for his son, Hunter, uh, the sentence he will eventually receive. This week, Hunter was convicted on felony gun crimes. Fox 31's Talia Cunningham has more from the president. All new tonight at 10. Talia. Erica, Hunter Biden's sentencing date has not been set just yet, but his three counts carry up to 25 years in prison. However, that would be unlikely for a first time offender. So this week, Hunter was found guilty of lying about his drug use on a form before buying a gun back in 2018. So with Hunter possibly facing time behind bars, many were wondering if the president would either pardon or commute his son's sentence, meaning would he wipe it out completely or lessen it? Until today, the White House declined to rule out a potential commutation for Hunter. Hunter. And for months, the president has said that he would not pardon his son. And today, Joe Biden publicly stood by that during a press conference in Italy while attending the G7 summit. I'm extremely proud of my son, Hunter. He has overcome an addiction. He is he's one of the brightest, most decent men I know. And uh, I am satisfied that I'm not going to do anything. I, sa I said I'd abide by the jury decision. And I will do that and I will not pardon him. And we know a U.S. district judge nominated under former President Trump will decide how much, if any time, that Hunter will serve behind bars. In studio, Taya Cunningham, Fox 31.